Genomics is the study of genes which makes it possible to predict, diagnose, and treat diseases more precisely and personally than ever. But can it help? Can, but can it extend to helping us choose the best diet or exercise regimen? That's what we're going to find out right now with City TV health expert and City Line health expert uh, and founder of My <laughs> Immunity. Is it My Immunity or My Immunity? Well, it's My Immunity, but it's the DNA company as it relates yeah. to the genetic side of things. It's Bryce Wild. I didn't say her name yet. <laughs> it's Bryce Wild. So, so nice I'm so happy we're morning. here. Oh, we're in a different place. Yeah, we're talking about similar things. That's right. This is very interesting because people are getting into personalized medicine. Talk to us a little bit about genomics. How about this? Change yeah. the day you die. Ooh, right? Big yeah. words, yeah. Bryce. So, you know, to be a better, stronger, faster version of yourself, and we yeah. all want to be healthier on top of that, yeah. you need to know your instruction manual. Right. And this is it. We learned it in 11th grade biology. This, this is, is the, the double helix. That's it. 22,000 genes that ultimately code a lot of which code for health or have health implications, right? Yeah. So we have a lot out here. We're never going to get through all this today. I but at the, at the end of the day, hormones, how those work, mm -hmm. how executive function, the brain works and what to do about that, sleep. Yes. What exercise do you do? How good of a detoxifier are you? Recently in the news, a lot about hormones. Yes. So hormone replacement therapy seems to be back. The Women's Health it Initiative is. as it pertains to hormone replacement therapy. Okay, so it may be safer than we thought. Yep around menopause, especially as it relates to menopausal symptoms and mm -hmm. certainly before age 60 in that sort of zone. Yeah. You shouldn't feel too scared about it, but to know for sure, yeah. you need to get tested. You really need to understand okay. your genetics. There are certain people, quite actually a large percentage of the population, about 20% of the population, yeah. that probably shouldn't be taking hormone replacement therapy okay. if they really knew. So back to the start yeah. here, like the DNA company. Yeah. Uh, our CEO, Kashif Khan, brilliant, genius I would call him, mm -hmm. wrote this book called The DNA Way. The concept is understand end of one. You as an individual, for personalized medicine, that means you as a person. So this DNA yeah. helix here, mm -hmm. this is called a SNP. So in this book, this is all about, this is a game changer, how to change your life. So if you were to take one of these things out and put one of these things back in, yeah. sort of take out one little kind of code, one of that 22,000 and put this in, yeah. most people misunderstand this as a mutation. It's not a mutation, it's a variation. Okay. So what gives me my ability to detoxify, yeah. and you your ability to detoxify, might be as simple as one one single switch out. Yeah. Or in some cases, called a copy number variation, this means you don't even have the instruction manual. So you can put it in? Like if you don't have it, well, you can add it? This is CRISPR, right? That's that's next that's what gen I wanna... stuff. No. Okay, so, all right. So, here's, so no, you can't do that. No, here's what we're saying. You can't change your DNA. It does yeah. that sometimes. The variations between what I have and you have yeah. is a difference of this single, called a single nucleotide polymorphism. But you can manage genetic expression. Can't yeah. change DNA. That's CRISPR. Maybe in the future. Okay. But fair. manage. And by you're the way, you're gonna have to cut your segment in half because we're almost out of time. But that's the and whole point. This that is we're all not, we talked about. You know, but that's not. So we're not out of time because here's the bottom line. Yeah. You can change or manage your genetic expression through diet and lifestyle. Right. And understanding and testing for your DNA in the first place. That's how you do it. Well, yeah. we need to talk a little bit more about testing for DNA because people are into figuring out their specific, what they specifically need. So thank you for joining us. WildOnHealth.com for all of the information that Bryce might have. For now, though, we're headed to break. We'll see if we can get into a few more of these things a little bit later. Oh, How's that sound? Oh, let's dive deep. Absolutely. Okay. Let's go to break, everyone. The DNA way, unlock the secrets of your genes to reverse disease. Bryce Wild is back with us again. So we did start our conversation talking a little bit about genomics. So much to say that we had to bring you back for this national <laughs> hour to talk a little bit about uh, more about it. Just give us the Coles notes of what genomics is all about. Not many people realize this, but in each of us yeah. and in everyone out there, we have an instruction manual. Mm -hmm. If you want to change the day you die. Turn to page 48. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And that has health implications across the board. So ultimately, we're talking about extending our lives as healthy as possible. Yes. But what do we eat? What do we take? What do we do? So this whole concept that you can't change your DNA, but you can manage genetic expression through diet, lifestyle, exercise, supplementation, et cetera, okay. is literally this new concept of epigenetics. It's the stuff that exists on top of the human genome. So you oh, can okay. change that. You have the power within you. This is not mm. ancestry. Yeah. And it's not the color of eyes I have yeah, or yeah, you. Yeah. This is ultimately what you do in your life understanding what's in that genome yes. appropriately, what drugs maybe you take, et cetera, to extend 
a happy, healthy life. Okay, so we're doing the things that you can, you could maybe change through your environment and diet and the things you take. But first learn and first know, otherwise first maybe you don't learn. need to do those things. Right. We only have so much time in the day. <laughs> what, is, what are we talking about here? I just brought this in as a representation of pesticides, chemicals, yeah. fragrances. A lot of people walk into a room and they smell perfume and they get mm -hmm. a headache. Right. They are poor detoxifiers. Bottom line, we've discovered oh. this, we've done over 7,000 tests on individuals yeah. and have a lot of data and the data is out there as well. We compiled this. And if you are a poor detoxifier, it has huge implications in life. Okay. okay. This this is an instruction manual for sometimes in which you don't get the information from mom or dad. It's called yes. a null variant. Your body doesn't know how to detoxify effectively. Hmm. Translates into so much of what ails us. Okay. Chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia. The list is very <gasps> long. You want to know. Yeah. yeah, you want to know. You want to know. What do we need to know about our brain? Executive function, mood and behavior. Right. Let's say you're taking a prescription medication and it's an antidepressant. A lot of people need to rely on some of those and that's mm -hmm. a fine but many antidepressants are wrong for some people mm -hmm. the other things we'll learn and for example you're looking at green coffee bean okay, okay? green coffee bean enhances BDNF brain okay. derived neurotrophic factor so people that have concussions post-traumatic by their emotional or physical concussions yeah. can do well taking this to enhance this BDNF now BDNF oh. might be problematic genetically yeah. if it's not you're genetically blessed wonderful but we do a lot of brain analysis yeah. mood executive function behavior sleep how do you sleep? How do you know what you need to do to improve that sleep? Mm -hmm. Sleep hygiene, et cetera. Um, you know, the list is long. I want to talk about our uh, eyesight, another yeah. thing that could be affected. Absolutely. There's a gene called BCMO1. Okay. If you have a fault in that gene, you mm -hmm. want to correct it by taking the right kind of vitamin A. Right. You can't be vegan, or you shouldn't be. And if you are, you need to take retinol. Yeah. I don't mean you can't be vegan. We'll you talk can, about that in a second. You but can't, it, but, but you, you need, need to, to know that you have you this. Need. Right. Otherwise, you're setting yourself up for early eye disease. Go okay. figure, right? Yeah. I mean, the list is, so we're looking at all kinds of supplements here as well. What do you take? Yeah. We look at your gut microbiome genetics, so the predisposition to your good bacteria surviving versus your bad bacteria. By the way, whether you're paleo yeah. or you're keto or you, you're, you're, you're doing these sort of new faddish diets or you're vegan, as we just alluded to, yeah. it, are your genes more established to do well from tofu and grain and corn uh, or are they better established to eat a lot of meat Yes. and healthy fats. Or do just... you need a steady diet of chocolate bars? Oh, Who knows? <laughs> or good healthy I wine, which we talk off camera a lot about, right? <laughs> I think our genes have to be established for wine a and chocolate. Bit, right? and, and lastly, I'll just end off with yes. this. How do you exercise? Right. You know, some people, you should not be doing cardiovascular, intensive cardiovascular exercise, you know, and you should be doing weight bearing. How do you exercise? Yeah. We'll tell you all of that uh, at the DNA it. company. You can have the answers is what you're saying you so can. that you know how to best preserve your body and live your best healthy life. Bingo, change we the We love AI. that. Thank you so much for Thank joining you, us. You always have Thank the you. best information. Uh, for more info, wildonhealth.com, at the DNA way, DNA way. Unlock the secrets of your genes to reverse disease, slow aging, and achieve optimal wellness. That's what Bryce is all about.